Yo, what up, familias? Thanks for coming to Cooking with Payaso. Today, we're gonna make these bomb ass fire peanuts. Now, let me just show you how I get down with this. Now, you guys can choose to make it as spicy as you want or just as light as you want. I'm using my own Mesa's Reaper. So, you know, I like it a little hot, a little ghost pepper, a little Reaper in there, some other stuff. Let me show you what we got here. Now, I'm working with the uh, two pounds it really depends on you know how much you want to make you know you can do just straight tajin i'm going to do about a tablespoon of this pick yourself up some of these uh lemon packets get them on amazon or walmart you know they got all different flavors too you need about one lime and of course i like it a little spicy so i'm going to do about two tablespoons of my uh Mesa's reaper you know it'll be a soon but anyways, now I'm going to sprinkle, you know, a tablespoon before and then after it comes out. So what you're going to need is you're going to need yourself a mixing bowl. Now you can go ahead and uh, line that if you want. You know, I don't need all that. I got my oven set to about 300. Basically, I just want to dry out the peanuts. So let's get at it. Let's get started here. So I'm going to go ahead and just dump those in here. You're going to want to. Juice that lime. Make sure you get it all coated as good as you can here because you want your powder and stuff to stick. Don't worry if it's a little wet because, like I said, that's why we're going to throw them in the oven. Dry them out a little bit. I don't know what you guys can smell this. It's smelling. All right, y'all, so now once you got your lime in there, and you guys can add more or less, it's up to you. If you want more, go ahead and add more. Then we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and add that uh, lemon powder. Go, go ahead and add your one tablespoon of tahini. Tablespoon of that reaper powder or whatever else you guys can get available. I'm gonna do half first and give it a little mix here. Oh, that smells. You know, and you guys can change this up. You guys can add a little bit of tequila in here if you want. Do them like tequila lime peanuts that people love so much. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, sprinkle the rest of that on here. Get that coated nice. You know, I'm gonna just do a little extra here because I like I might not a little spicy, you know. So now we're gonna go ahead and uh, give that last mix. That's looking good. We're gonna go ahead and spread that out here. Make sure you spread it out a nice even layer. I know I got a big ass sheet here, but you might not need one quite this big. I just like to make sure mine gets uh, dries out pretty good, pretty quick. Go ahead and pat that down, make sure it's evenly distributed. Then I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in at 300. Just kind of keep an eye on it. I say maybe 10 minutes, but you know, give it a stir halfway through and we'll be back. You know, one of the things I like about this recipe is that it's easy, it's quick, there's no fuss, no muss, and you don't have to do peanuts. You know, if you like cashews or, you know, you want some pecans or some macadamians, which I got all those and we're gonna do another recipe with that later on, but you know, change it up, do your own. This is just uh, quick and easy, fast. It's just something I like, you know, it's pretty affordable and cheap. And uh, you know, it's a snack that you can sit there and watch a movie or whatever, you know. Uh, but as I'm sitting here cooking it, like I said, I'm gonna give it about 10 or 15 minutes and I'll be back with y'all. Don't go nowhere. All right, fam, welcome back. All right, let's check these out. They're looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and pull these out real quick. Oh, yeah. I'm going to show you here what we got. Look at that nice color. Got a little roasted color going on here. It's perfect. I'm going to go ahead and if you want it just like that, it's good to go. I myself, I'm going to add a little bit more. Again, I like it spicy. Go 
go ahead and mix all that in real good. And then just let them cool down and uh, sit there and eat them just like this. Add them to your popcorn or your favorite movie snack or these are good for on the go snacking. And again, for under five bucks, you got a snack that the whole family is going to love. We can see all that, but that's perfect. Once again, I want to thank you guys for coming to my channel. Stay tuned for more stuff. Please go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell so you can get the notifications whenever a new recipe comes out. And if you guys have anything you want to see, don't be afraid to go ahead and drop a comment. Let me know what it is you want to see next. All right, familia, much love. This is Payaso once again. I'm out.